Right, Sandbox. So um, this is why I think Meta is looking interesting because we did get a break today on a downtrend on Sandbox. Yes, you know, it's a bit wishy-washy. Let's not get too overexcited because Bitcoin, you know, if Bitcoin basically sneezes and goes down a 20% or something to 30K, it's going to have an effect on Sand. But we do have something constructive on Sandbox right now, okay? Um, you know, I was calling for Sandbox to have a correction to the 786. We have basically come down to the 786 on the macro kind of structure here. Uh, I would say that we do have a break, okay? So it's not perfect, guys. I'm not going to say, you know, right now is the time to get in. But this is a good sign because this is a nice defined downtrend line, okay? This is a good defined level, okay? This is this would, we say, for me, be an ideal uh, trend line because it's, it's ticking all the boxes in terms of multiple data points all um, touching the same kind of trend, okay? Also, you have some sort of like flat bottom here. You know, I, I would like to have seen it come down to here. You know, that's where the kind of liquidity is coming in. Actually, we could check that. Let's not jump ahead of the gun here. Where is the liquidity coming in? Why is my VPVR like that? It's actually going to be in the middle. So let's quickly whip up the VPVR. Oh, it's not working on sand. Why is it not working? Like, oh, what's going on? Okay, it's not working for some reason. So if I just do that and then let me just quickly whip this out. Let's just reset this to default. It should work now. Um, Sir... Thank you. Um, so yeah, I, I actually, um, this is a horrible way it's set up, but you know, it works. So you can see here, guys, we actually are on a volume node down here. So I'd, say, I'd be nice to see this uh, this level get tagged out. This is just like looking shit. I'm just going to fucking delete that. Get out of the hell. Get the hell out of the way, bro. So um, yeah. And then I would say this. Okay, so this is a break. If we zoom in on it, you can see a little bit more clearer um, that we do have a break of this trend. Now, you know, it's not perfect because I know that Bitcoin isn't ideally looking like it's going to break uh it's kind of like uh, where it is right now anytime soon it could go flat for a bit longer but i would say that there is probably um some sort of potentially chance you could just buy some spot for long-term plays what you're really looking for is some sort of push above here okay firstly a push above here then a retest that's really when you're going to get that higher low and actually look to this and say okay potentially we have got a break now we could actually look for some higher prices and i do think sand is looking like it could be bottoming out on that medium term it's a significant downtrend it, it did a 786 retracement and that's a 70 percent correction like that's it's a little bit actually it's pretty much bang on 70 percent. so it's enough for me i'm looking to buy more sandbox i want to get into sand more heavily i already got into sand and then sold and then you know waited for this move anyway so i've already been in and out of the trade but i want to get back in and i think sand will probably end up being almost like the bitcoin of meta you know i'm not saying it's going to be the biggest games the biggest game in the world or anything. I'm just saying that I think this could determine looking at sand could determine the direction of generally metaverse kind of backed or metaverse projects in terms of where their price will go. So we have a break here on sandbox. I would say that probability wise, probably 60% chance. I would say we're going to get some sort of upside move on this uh, in terms of momentum. Let's just see if momentum is being, is actually uh in confluence with this so let me actually zoom out a little bit on this and go on the weekly so weekly nice that's what we want to see on the on the stochastic rsi weekly we want to see that really oversold um stochastic rsi um yeah you know rsi is not too bad either you know it's kind of in the middle but it hasn't really ever got lower than you know the, it's kind of like the medium for it and ttm squeeze is really nicely oversold as well but weekly isn't showing anything in terms of a trend reversal uh, we do have we do have a bullish cross on the stochastic RSI, which is a good sign. So maybe I'm being a little bit preemptive with this break, but I would say that medium term, you know, this looks okay. You know, this look, this looks like it could then be looking for a swing, and then daily as well. Um, we actually got a sharp pop there, not really giving us much on the daily. Okay, and that's indicative of what Bitcoin's doing right now. There's not really much. I there's not really much like not not much to go by in terms of direction, on, especially on Bitcoin. Obviously, we know Bitcoin's just flat like a fucking pancake right now so um i think my hunch like i said though is bitcoin goes up so i think sandbox is looking quite good and um, i do like the project i like the fundamentals i like where this uh this meta metaverse will go and i do think that looking at the market cap of this bad boy as well i think it's around i think three or four billion isn't it i'm not 100 percent. let's have a quick look here yeah so 3.6 billion okay so that's um it still has a lot a ways to go. If this becomes a big company, a big game, you know, it could at least be 30 billion. So it's a 10x in this if it, if it, if it can grow. And uh, yeah, they have lots of stuff coming. So just want to mention, guys, there's a break here on Sandbox. Keep an eye on that. And yeah, comment in the freaking description, Legends. Do you like Sandbox? Do you think it's going to go up or down?